Cami, what was your path to becoming a designated accountant? Hi, Sam. So I did my then CA with KPMG about a year after the merger. And it was a really exciting time at that point in time. We just moved into new offices. It was super fun. Everything was booming. So I was in KPMG Halifax office in assurance. And I did my two years then. Back then we did two years and then we wrote after that. And what was really exciting then is that the day you passed, you were a designated CA. So we didn't have what? to wait. Yeah. That, that, is, that is really exciting. Yeah. I did not know that. Um, so was it because the months were counted way beforehand or that was that was just kind of like, hey, the big thing is that you wrote and passed the UFI? So back then it was more streamlined. Uh, you had to do pretty much, unless you did an Ontario graduate program, you had the two years or 24 months of hard time, I guess. And then you wrote and you found out in December. So at that point, for most people, their time would have been in yeah. and they were designated then. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. And I, I would agree that definitely way more different permutations and combinations and options to get to a similar um, path, um, which is both great, but also can be a lot really confusing. And mm -hmm. a number of our podcasts have actually been centered around <laughs> into the different paths and the different options and the different timing. Um, so that is fabulous. Um, I'm going to ask the same question. Um, what was your path to becoming a designated accountant to our other guest, uh, Laura Cumming, the person that I did not screw up her last name. By the way, there was much practice beforehand about this, and I will never, <laughs> ever, ever get it wrong ever again. Rock and roll, Tammy Kroll. Uh, so with that being said, uh, Laura, same question to you. Um, you were a CPA, CA. What was your path in getting there? Well, it was really similar to Tammy's, actually, but just uh, a couple of years afterwards. So I was a Dow BCom grad who then went to KPMG in Halifax in assurance. And I, I did my CA there. Uh, somewhere between Tammy and I, it went up to 30 months. I actually didn't realize it was 24, but I had, after I received my designation or after I passed the UFI, I had six more months at uh, KPMG and other busy season before I exited KPMG, not that it wasn't a, a fabulous experience, but 30 days on the nose uh, uh, is when I ended my time there. Wow, we have a lot more in common um, than I really realized there because I did 30 months and two weeks. Ah. So that was my time, sir. <laughs> you did two more weeks than I did. <laughs> I had a little little bit of a nudge because I wanted to put in my time before um, before uh, December because I didn't want to have to like be the person that left right before busy season. Um, but I was if I would have waited two weeks, then marks would have come out. So there's a little bit of a gamble there, which will likely come out um, in our subsequent discussion. All right, so I want to talk with all.